there's something just um, majestic about these water towers. Really just ma majestic. Also, depending on how old they are, they change, they, the, the, uh, the colors change. If it's an older water tower, it'll get really, it'll be a dark, dark brown. The, uh, the ones that are newer are, are lighter and reflect that light so nicely. When I paint, I'm always standing. I feel like, as an artist, I want to show the energy of New York. So I feel like when I'm painting, it's a very energetic process. So I'm never sitting and picking. I'm always standing and moving about my painting. So here it is. I'll, I'll usually stand in the shadow of the building and you can see that sun coming right through. And look at those shadows that the, that the bicycles are casting. I love those shadows. I love to get those shadows of the bicycles, especially the, the tires and the spokes. So when I, look, when I look for a subject, when I'm walking around the city looking for my next subject, I will know, I will know instantly what my painting is going to be. Just it won't even be a whole view, it might just be a piece of, a piece of something like light in between the structure of a water tower. Or it could just be an instant that a person is walking by and I can see, I can see her walking away with a red umbrella covering her face. And that, I'll, I'll know that that is, that is my next painting. There are objects that become an excuse to play with line, form, composition, space, and color. So in some ways, I think that I approach my paintings in an abstract perspective. So I'm painting the city and I'm thinking about my subject, but sometimes I lose track of what I'm painting because I think about objects that just form pieces of a puzzle. So they all fit together to form a, um, a whole view. I like to maintain a sense of anonymity within the, within the painting. So these figures you'll see, they'll be um, obscured by the umbrella or they'll be turned away. So we're not thinking, oh, who is that? But we're thinking mostly about where these people are going and where they are. They're in, they're in New York. So uh, here we are on top of a roof uh, in Soho, 588 Broadway. It's on Broadway between Houston and, and Prince Street. And there's some amazing views to see. I can see also some wonderful aspects of New York, like uh, Empire State Building and the Chrysler Building. Um, Midtown all the way over to the west side and even New Jersey. I don't really enjoy painting the, uh, the new buildings, but there's something quite spectacular about what they're doing in downtown New York right now. They do crop up in, in my paintings, these, these new, the, the Freedom Tower. Um, and it's interesting, the, the juxtaposition between the new, the new, paint, uh, the new buildings and uh, and the old. And um, not only is the subject matter important to me when I come up here to look at this view, but also it's, it's this light, this late afternoon golden light. And I'll, I can stay up here for um, several hours to watch the changing light and record it in, in, my, um, in my sketches and in my paintings. Uh, the colors are also all constantly changing, but the colors of the shadows and the color of the light, I, I love that contrast.